I bought this Noctua 120 millimeter uh, CPU cooler fan. This one is with the R for rounded edges for my uh, D12L CPU cooler. Uh, I want to try and see if I can lower the CPU temperature just a little bit. Uh, and this is the one to get for my specific cooler. The regular 120 millimeter fans are not going to work because uh, as you can see, it has those uh, rounded edges. One thing to note though, that this does not come with the clips to attach the fan uh, to the heatsink. Those actually were included for a optional second fan with the cooler itself where they are. So I've got the clips on. Uh, my air is going to be flowing this way. So fan actually includes a direction. Uh, let's put it on. Use the Y splitter. Comes with all of their fans. Connected. No. Put the cover back in and uh, run some benchmarks. So I ran the same benchmarks with the second CPU fin fan attached. As far as the temperatures goes, uh, minimum temperature um, with single fan, you know, when I did the last benchmark was 29 degrees centigrade. Now it's 30, but you know, that's, I can probably ignore that. Where it probably made a little bit of difference is the maximum temperature. Uh, last time it went up to 100 degrees centigrade, this time the maximum was 96 degrees. However, it did experience some thermal throttling. Well, the difference is with a single fan, the thermal throttling happened on five out of the performance scores. This time only one of the performance scores experienced thermal throttling. Uh, I'm still debating whether I will keep the second CPU fan because, uh, you know, when I render videos in Adobe uh, Premiere Elements, that's all I use, I'm not a pro, uh, it didn't experience any thermal throttling and the temperature didn't go, you know, that high at all. Uh, so. I'm probably going to stick with a single fan.